Happy Tuesday guys. I've got a lot of giant changes that are coming up here. I just want to make a video about it. I have to tear down a bunch of stuff here at the shop because I am moving. I'm getting rid of the shop. I'm going to talk a lot about that and about some changes to the channel and some stuff that you might want to be a part of. It's coming up. So what this video is about is actually the idea of having a shop or having your own business and what that looks like and what it actually means to have overhead. So right now I'm actually editing this video sitting here in my office. And when I'm not sitting in there, I'm definitely not in there. I'm never in there. And I'm never in all of these places here. Every once in a while I stand by the oven, but for the most part, I'm just sitting right here. Now that only covers about half the shop. So I've been here at the shop for about a year and a half, just over that. And in that time, I counted up, I've done up to right now, 122 videos that are still available. Those are all on the channel. You can go check them out. Now in all that time that I've been in this shop making videos, I think I've shot exactly one video right here in this room. I think I even pissed off the neighbors because I was spray painting stuff and fumes and all that. One thing I can say without a doubt is that this shop has enabled me to become the biggest pack rat you can possibly imagine. I have rooms full of stuff that I never use, parts that will live in boxes forever, and things that aren't helping me, and they're not helping you, so I wanna change all of that. As cool as it is to walk into my office and see my Transformers and Star Wars toys and I don't know, awesome gnarly weapons that needlessly are strewn about. I definitely don't think that this is helping anybody. A few years ago, I was told that the best thing that I should do is just focus on trying to look cool so that people would want to do business with me. And I gotta say, I just feel like that is the most wasteful, stupid advice that you could give anybody. So I did some math and I looked at a bunch of stuff and as it turns out over the last three years since I left my house, since I left the garage at home and my family and I don't know, the sound of lawnmowers going and airplanes flying overhead while I was working, I spent about $100,000 on things like help different guys that came to do work for me that I paid, the cost of electricity times two because I pay for it at home and I pay for it here the internet, like all the different little utilities, things that you could pay, insurance for the businesses, uh, all this stuff, paper towels, so many things. I mean, I spent well over 100K in three years. That, in my opinion, has been kind of like my college tuition. And boy, is college debt not a little thing. It's, it's kind of terrible. Which brings me to right now and how much has changed in three years. And the biggest thing that's changed is you. You have led me to make some pretty gnarly decisions, including the fact that being fancy is not helping anybody and it's very expensive. And I decided that I don't need it anymore. Does it really matter how cool it looks 15 feet behind me so that I have a nice lens and it's all youtube -y and awesome? I really don't think so. I don't think that that translates well I don't think that people identify with all of that stuff if I'm trying to get the message across to them that you're just like me and I'm just like you and all this whole YouTube thing is not what you think. It's, it's all just real people doing this stuff. It's not like millions of dollars roll in. Like it's very difficult to make videos and have output and run a business and do all that. So I'm gonna trim the fat and I'm gonna make sure that what I focus on is you. Look at that, same shot, no special lighting techniques or anything. So for some of you guys, this is not new information. I decided to start tearing down the shop and doing a bunch of stuff, including, oh my gosh, including having to downsize, like even losing Kristen, losing the shop. It has been, it's been like ripping my heart out, to be honest with you. For the most part, I'm kind of past the point of being sad, but I swear a second ago, I just saw this and just, Messed me up, man. Check this out. Look how awesome she is. Kristen, before she left, spent her last few days going through, putting all of this stuff together, 
printing out labels saying how much all this stuff would cost if you were buying it on Amazon. And so I have all these things here that are ready to sell that she got all dialed in for me, including rewinding all of these individual iPad chargers and stuff like that. She's so dope, she hooked it up. All right, so what are we like five minutes in? That means that we've weeded out most of the people that were just here, uh, I don't know, to not watch the whole video, but you are, so you're dope. And I'm gonna give you a little demo at the end of this video. It's all about creativity. It's actually, I'm gonna open up a set of 350Z headlights and dip and pull the chrome off and you'll see. Um, so that's coming, but I am excited to tell you about what's coming right now as a result of all these changes that I'm making. My goal with all of this stuff is one thing, it's happiness. I wanna be happy. I wanna be excited about the value I'm providing. I don't wanna wake up and fear that I'm gonna get a text message that says, hey, I want a refund. I want this thing right now. You said I could have it. You're not sitting there like a headlight factory doing the thing. And I also don't wanna wake up and see like, hey buddy, is there any update on my light? And I'm like, oh God, I feel bad because I love that dude. He's the best dude on earth. And this, this, and this happened. And now I haven't been able to finish that project. Like, I don't like that. I don't like that fly on my neck either. Sorry. Freaking Angela hair. My God, that's gonna be all over the place. So again, just to address what's happening right now. I'm closing down the shop, the side of it where you walk into Fly Ride or you bring your car in or whatever. And I phased out almost all of the service stuff anyway, and I haven't enjoyed working on cars. It's been something where it's taken away from how many videos I can do. It's almost always GTR stuff. And I know that hasn't gone well with the channel. Uh, people are just over it. They're like, I wanna see my car. But as far as having a shop that I can pull vehicles into and all that, I'm just not into it these days. I don't want to wrench on a dude's car and then hand him a big fat bill at the end of it. I just don't wanna work on people's cars. Let's just leave it at that. I think so much good is gonna come out of working more with you as opposed to giving you my scraps, what's left over after I've done all these practical decisions like let's bring in money to pay for the overhead and pay for the employee and pay for the inventory and all of these things that are not I don't know, they're just like typical boring business. And I'm not into that. I don't have to make any big changes right now, but I feel like when I was here at this shop, I had more space than I needed. And I had way better help than I needed. Like Kristen was amazing and she was doing such an awesome job for me. And I think I was a little bit too comfortable. It allowed me to get into trouble, to almost like keep on coasting. And I don't wanna do that. I, I wanna be pushing myself past my comfort zone. So that's, that's where I'm at. The comfort zone is back there. I passed it a while ago. Now, here's something that I should have gotten to a long time ago, but just to make some sort of headlight value on this video, we're gonna open up TJ's DE headlights. This is a 3, 350Z, and they've got the old lens film and all that. So we're just going to pretend that these things aren't trashed. These are from TJ's 350Z drift car from way back in the day. I guess one thing I failed to mention was the reason we're doing this is just to open this thing up. We're going to talk about some demon eyes in a second and specifically this little baby projector that's in there. Yeah, let's open them up. 220 degrees for about seven minutes. One thing I'm gonna be struggling with a lot in the near future is gonna be bench space. And so I am going to be pounding this into these videos. These are gonna be more the business style videos for you guys that are wanting to set up workshops at home and you don't want to have messy work spaces. Let's clean this up. I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go Spend my coin for sure I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone else No one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I just wanna feel it It's just what I do when I'm out so Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at the 
beautiful stars I wanna drive a faster car Nothing can break me, no, no, nothing can break me Drive a faster car Lay my troubles to rest Blow the smoke through my cigarette City lights looking fine And I know this is my time now I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone else No one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I feel alive It's just what I do when I'm out So try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna drive a faster car Okay, so this one looks like it's a gray plastic If you look right there, you can see where it's kind of been misted so if we strip the chrome off this, it's not going to look any better. This might as well just be scuffed and painted black if we want to change the look of it. What I want to see now is this lower bowl, which if I'm looking at this thing the right way, man, this little projector is ridiculous. It's just tiny. Let's see if I can take it out with a screwdriver. Alright, so there is, there's our little projector, that's what the DE looks like, much different than the HR. I don't really understand any of the concept behind this particular light, um, you can see the cutoff line, can you show you the cutoff line down there? Super strange little projector. Super weird housing though. For the cost of modifying a DE headlight, you could just buy some nice HRs, do the Iron Man thing. That's always what's most popular. So I think this is why people don't mess with the DE headlights, specifically because of this little dude. And I have been asked multiple times about people wanting to put a demon eye in here. And I guess this is kind of why I would say don't do that. Don't modify this thing. It's got nowhere to really hide anything. You would have to mount the demon eye in here with the HID heat from the bulb is coming. I don't know. I think that's enough playing with these lights. I'm gonna trash them. Um, so all of these parts, unless somebody wants them, are just gonna, I think I'll throw that on the shelf because it's kind of interesting looking. So crazy looking around here. I gotta go tear down some shelves in the back because a guy is coming to pick those up right now. So I got lots of work to do, lots of changes, lots of crazy stuff happening. Comment below and I'm gonna respond to your comments with an invite to some cool stuff that's coming up here. Flyride.com is gonna become the main hub for everything. So there's gonna be a lot of content that you're not gonna see on YouTube. It's gonna be in blog, but like vlog format. So I'll actually get to start vlogging and having that only available on flyride.com. I have to take apart these shelves right now because they've got all of my crazy Star Wars and comic books and stuff like that from over the years. I'm selling everything that I own that I don't need, that I don't use right now so that I can pump that into this, this channel and this whole business, this side of things, it's all digital. And I want you to be a part of it. You stayed till the end of this video, so thank you for that. Do me a favor, I would like to get more feedback from you guys. So comment below and make sure that you say that you want to get access to some of the stuff coming up here on flyride.com and I will give you the invite, all right? I would tell you to smash the like button. You probably already did that because you're dope. If you're not subscribed to the channel, now's an interesting time to do that because everything's changing. And those of you guys that have been following through the whole journey, man, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart from watching as I go from one place to the next, to the next, to the next. So we're on to the next journey. I'll still be here for a few weeks. You guys should be along for the ride. And I'm going to start doing some of these membership videos here coming up. Stay tuned for announcements. I'll see you on the Flyride email. Try not to hold me down.